Our last installment in the What's New with React series will discuss not only violation B, but also when a violation is both A and B. Once again, corporate trainer Vicki Bell. Violation B, which is the second one, deals with the EH and S items. To the owners, you have been given three days already to report the eh &S items. If HUD finds out that there's a deficiency of NOV or NOD with the fact that you did not report it correctly in those three business days, then you are required, again, they give you an additional three days for certification. You're required, again, to do a certification for the eh and s items and send that to the hud account executive now when the violation is both a and b you have physical things that need correcting and or you have eh and s items that need correcting you're to do the cure process for each of those along with their uh, respective mitigations now, if the properties have project-based rental assistance, I want you to hear this. If the property has project-based rental assistance, which means that the assistant goes with the property, on one or more buildings constructed before 1978 and their family properties, not designated as elderly, handicapped, or Section 811 properties, then the individual must include the lead base paint compliance documentation instructions and attach that with your cure that you're sending to the executive at HUD. You may find this kind of interesting idea. Um, each NOV and NOD must also be sent to the residents of the properties along with the fact that you have cured those items. Yes, that means you have to let your residents know that you had issues. An example, HUD says that they have to be placed in a reasonable means. And an example of reasonable means would be um, leaving a notice under the door or of each unit or posting it in the mail room or on each floor, on the bulletin board on each floor. Be knowledgeable of the fact that NOVs and NODs are legal notices under the HUD rules. And because they are legal notices, they provide the basis for any enforcement action taken by HUD in the compliance requirements in the notices. So make sure you meet those requirements. Also note that up on appeal, if the REAC score rises to 60 or above, HUD may withdraw the NOV or the NOD. However, there's no requirement that they have to do so. So it'll be left up to the HUD office. Today's session just highlighted the notice. We encourage you to obtain and read the notice for yourself. Uh, time won't permit us today, but we did not cover issuance of demand for corrective actions. We didn't cover um, how to ask for an extension. We did not cover react reinspection request or the lack of owner compliance. What happens if the owner doesn't comply? We didn't talk about the flags that the property will be flagged with. So you know what that means? That means that you've got to read the notice. I encourage you again to please read the notice. We want to thank you for tuning in today. And until next Tuesday, when we'll talk about the maintenance role and the manager's role as far as REAC is concerned, we ask you to be careful and safe. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.